Well, um, this is very interesting that's came out the um, world of the video games. Uh, Nintendo has announced they will be discontinuing their Wi Fi service. Um, those, um, it's pretty much says in the article, which has been done by Chris Morris, um, that Nintendo has never been the leader of online space. The effort of the Wii and DS in their area were always um, fairly weak. But those who use the service um, certainly appreciate it. The article also said that these days are coming to an end, though, as the company have announced plans to discontinue its Wi-Fi connection service as part of a slow, ongoing un sunsetting of both um, systems. Now, what does that mean? Well, according to the article, the move announced by Nintendo of Japan will mean the end of several features: online play, matchmaking, leaderboards. Uh, will cease in many popular games, including Animal Crossing, Let's Go to the City, Mario Kart Wii, Super Smash Bros. Brawl, and Pokemon series on DS. Wow, that's that's a that's bigger than I thought. Nintendo said it plans to pull the plug on May 20th of 2014. Um, not all servers will be canned, however, if you're using Wii or DS. To uh, surf the web, which Netflix or YouTube videos or digitally purchased games, you will still be able to do so after the uh, Wi-Fi connection service shut down. It is naturally, uh, it is naturally, players on the 3DS and Wii U will continue to have full access of those features. So you see what they're doing here. They're basically trying to <coughs> boost their newer products. And they're pretty much saying, forget about the old products, they're no longer be available. Nintendo made it clear it will be a, it will be a global shutdown, but it didn't give a clear reason on why it's deciding this time to low, to um, to lower the boom. We at Nintendo well, sincerely thank our fans for their continued support of our company, Legendary Systems. The company said in a statement. Our, um, is up our enthusiasm for games made for these systems uh, speak um, to their longevity and passion to Nintendo fans. Um, it also says in this article that Nintendo has been looking for ways to cut costs for some time now. The recent slashing of its financial forecast only reinforced these efforts. The company have uh, essentially reduced its Wii U sales forecast, dropping it from its 9 million to just 2.8 million, and considered that the holiday season was a bust. The company now expects to have a uh, life to date Wii U sale of 6.25 million units by March 31st. The PS4, by comparison, has sold 5.5 million units since its launch. And will possibly top life to date sales of the Wii U by the end of next month. So, there you have it, guys. Uh, this pretty much goes like this if you have the old system and you're expecting Wi Fi services, you're not going to get Wi Fi services for that, um, except for what the article has said with Netflix, YouTube, etc. Um, this here has the making of two things. Um, if you are still hanging on to uh, the Wii U, um, and the DS, this is not a good thing for you, especially if you use those services. Um, especially if you pay a lot of money um, to have those services. Um, if you have long left the Wii and the DS, then uh, basically it doesn't really matter to you. You're just basically going to just use the uh, Wii U and the D 3DS, and you're just fine. But the question is, how many people actually have using the 3DS as well as the Wii U? Keep in mind, this was not a good year for Nintendo. Nintendo has really dropped the ball in terms of marketing strategy for the new products and maybe um, Just maybe with um, the focus on these two systems alone. They can actually bring it back. It definitely looks like they're trying to um, um, Push for new entrance of these units uh, but again, this is a This is a classic case of uh, Not um, keeping their eyes on the prize and paying for it and who's paying for it the most those who have the system now one may argue and this is a fair argument that these systems are old and need to be replaced 
anyway. Um, that's a fair statement. Right? Keep in mind, the Wii U has been around for a while. The Wii has been around for a while. And the DS has been around for a while. Uh, and that it doesn't really matter. Um, the, the services need to have a major change. Um, and they need to move forward. And the only way they can move forward is they discontinue some of the old products in terms of certain services. Now, does that mean that the Wii is going to be obsolete to the point we can't use it? No. You can still play the Wii, but you just can't use some of the online services as much as you want. Um, now, if you already have a service with, say, like an internet provider, I still think you can get online. But in terms of Wi Fi in general, because keep in mind, Wi Fi and internet services or two different things. In terms of that, um, you might not be able to use it. So, it's just keep in mind, the thing that's best about this is, is you should ask Nintendo. You should call them up, find out, um, find out how uh, much use you can still use on your Wii or your D if you're still going to use it, and see if it's still worth playing it or just get a new system if, in fact, uh, you are planning a new system anyway. I'll leave a link below. You guys can check it out yourself. Uh, but it is definitely something to... Uh, to keep um, keep an eye on, uh, but again, if you're a Nintendo fan and you still got these uh, Wii and DS com games um, systems, you might not be too happy. <laughs> so it really all depends. But for all you know, this wouldn't matter either way. Like to hear your comments on it. Let me know. Until then, J77 signing off.